Let's have a quick look at how you install the split integration with Azure DevOps. It's really just three steps, right? I recommend you start here at the Help Center at Split. Uh, to find this actual doc I'm on here, you can just go up here to the search and type Azure DevOps, right? And there it is. Yeah, and then uh, it gives an outline of what's going on, but the three steps really are we're gonna set up in split and then there's two steps to do in DevOps. So let's jump down to the split task here and it says to go to split and open integrations in your admin settings. So if you're not familiar with that, admin settings are reached over here. You choose admin settings and then down here you choose integrations. And then we just click add for Azure DevOps. And what we're gonna need here is our Azure organization ID. And you get that, it's really just the end of your URL here if you're at your uh, base page there. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to hit save. Then you go back in to the configured entry here and you're going to get a token in there. We want to copy that token and we're going to use it in the next step. So if we go back to the Help Center doc, it says, hey, now we're going to do setup in Azure DevOps and really good to start here because there's a great link exactly to the place in the marketplace where you want to be. So I'll go ahead and fire that up. That's going to take me in here to where the split extension is. And I'm just going to click get it free. Choose my org. I've only got one org, so I'm going to choose my org, hit install. And proceed to the org. Cool, so getting back to the help doc here, we can see that after we do that install the extension here, we wanna set up the extension and we do that by going to the project settings and we're gonna do a service connection. So we go into the project that we're working with here, choose project settings, look for uh, service connections. And if you've got some already, you'd have an add button. In this case, we'll just create our first and we'll search for split. There it is, and we'll click next. And then here's that token that we pull out of split, right? We'll hit verify, boom, it went back to split and did that. And then we gotta give it a name. So I'm just gonna say split feature flags and grant access to all pipelines. That's an important step. Hit verify and save. And that's it. You're all set to use split feature flags in your Azure DevOps projects.